Buhay! If you happen to be new here, I'm Melanie. I'm glad to have you here. And I'm here to inspire myself so that I can inspire you and I can inspire others. How do I do that? I stay productive. If you want to know more about me, I will link all the videos all about me at the bottom of the uh, the, uh, the description below and then you can watch them. So let's start with number one. How do I stay productive? So how do I stay productive? In every week of every... Um, in every week or I'll say every Sunday, I do a bullet journaling. If you know about uh, bullet journaling, it is about um, scheduling ahead of time with the things do you, you want to do for the whole month or the whole week. So I do it every week. Every Sunday, I schedule my daycare uh, program, my curriculum every Sunday and I send it to the parents and I do schedule our meal planning and that day too on Sunday, uh, in, in or on, I'm sorry, my prepositions are not correct. So every Sunday, we do the meal prepping and the meal, the meal planning and the meal prepping. Um, that way, we don't, um, we don't wait for for us to to cook every time and we're all prepared and so that the things uh, the time that I will put up on cooking I'll put it up on something else so that I can finish or I can accomplish all the things that I want to do in a day second would be every evening I know I did all uh, the uh, journaling already the scheduling for the whole week but if you have something else that you really want to accomplish on that day what you can do is put three things three things that you really want to accomplish and you really want to ha want to have it done for that day and then that way you have the least you can either put it on your phone what i do is i put it on my phone because i always use my phone to update parents and yeah, what's easier for you to do? Just you can write it on a on a note or on your phone and then stick on your stick it on your um fridge, anything. Three, just don't burn up yourself. You can write more things that you want to do in a day, but you're going to burn yourself. You're going to be tired and the next the the uh, the next day you're going to be um it's it's the sign that you're gonna be tired for that day and you're you want to be re you want to rest your body so i what i'm suggesting right now is just do three or it's it's up to you but what i do what works for me is i do three things and sometimes those three things i don't accomplish them but what what makes it easier for me i accomplish one one thing that is on my number one list i finish it so um the next day the two things that i didn't finish i will be able to finish them without being burdened or um without feeling like it's too much for me so yeah that's that's the second tips or routine or um staying for staying productive number three what I do is I do a morning routine. So before I don't I don't do these things. That's why I don't keep up. I feel like I'm always stressed. I'm always I feeling like it's too much for me every day. So what I did, I kept watching YouTube videos of how I do a self-care, how I how, how I um make my day productive, not for and not feeling feeling stress so the morning routine works for me what I do when you have alarm um, it's not um, it's not a good thing to snooze it make sure when you alarm at 7 a.m. you should get up at 7 a.m. because your mind is already awake and you're gonna feeling like 
I know sometimes you're feeling like you want to lay down for more and you want to rest more, but it's shutting the your mind, it's shutting off all the things that you want to do in your in your day. So what I'm suggesting, don't snooze it. That's the number one um, rule to staying productive. And then another thing that I do, so I will get ready after that and then drink, drink whatever will energize you. So for my part, what I drink is first thing after I dress up, I drink one glass of water one glass of water and then i either drink my tea or coffee that's what i feel like working for me to feeling refreshed and energized and do things um happy or feeling happy in this day so if whatever will work for you try everything try all the these things try drinking fancy water with with lemon or with strawberries anything to to work for your um for yourself and then that way you can incorporate all the things that i suggested for you to do to stay productive so after drinking my uh, water tea or coffee i start my 20 minutes of cleaning inside the house the whole house so um what i do i put an alarm for 20 minutes and um, before my uh, daycare children comes everything that i want to do and i have to accomplish for that 20 minutes i finish it so you can try that put 20 minutes or 10 minutes anything that will work for you and put alarm and put the music don't forget to put music music makes me um makes me stay energized for the day when i do especially when i clean so maybe you can try that number four so my number four is i exercise I make sure I I have scheduled three exercises every week. So that's my minimum. I can exceed to five to six times a week, but three times three times a week is the mo the minimum um exercise that I do. So I either do meditation, I do either uh, yoga. Sometimes I do it with my daycare kids, and that way they um they will know what uh, importance of uh, meditation, silence, and having the peacefulness in your mind and in your body. So yeah, that's what I do. And another thing that I enjoy doing is dancing. So I do go Zumba. I went back to my um, instructor yesterday. So I, will, I felt like I really want to do this thing so i'm thinking of um getting my license for being a zumba instructor so that i can i can um motivate myself more to do this to do the to dance more and feeling like it's um it's a way of of um what is this called it's a way of of um motivating myself to to dance more that's what i i want to do in the future so yeah and make sure um for that three exercises whatever will work for you if you're just starting up if you're just starting up on um or if you want to just just um want to do these things that I suggested and then incorporate it with exercise, you can just go walk outside. Walk outside and get some, uh, get some fresh air before you start your day, wherever you, if you work, example, you work outside and, or you work in the office and, or example, you're a teacher and you need to get up at six or seven, Make sure you have that 10 minutes or 10 to 15 minutes to walk outside to get some fresh air 
or to run jogging is a very very great um thing very great exercise to do every day you can do it every day too if it's too much for you can do it three times a week three times having exercise three times a week is already awesome so that's my number four number five importance of being productive is give yourself give yourself some self care so for my part what i do is i apply the three r so the three r are refresh relax and recover so the day that i do this is every friday after my after the whole week of being um busy busy with my kids with my husband with my full-time work with the house well, I'm, i work in the house so what i do i go out i sometimes go in in karaoke i sometimes go with my friends have coffee anything as long as i go out because i work inside the house that's what uh, makes me energize the day or oh, after that busy week of working so hopefully you guys like these five um tips of staying productive and and if you have um suggestions or if you happen to have um these ideas in your mind that you want me to feel just uh don't forget to comment down below and thank you for watching and bye for now.